Hey, Eddie from the back end here. How's everybody doing today? Uh, I'm going to show you my pulls for the week and my weekend haul. First off, because of an advanced screening, our boy Ursel Boyd let us know about the Immortal Hulk number 18. There we go. Look at that cover, Alex Ross cover. He said it was a very good story. He kind of gave us an advance warning, and I want to thank you, Ursel, for it. Now I got it in my hands. Can't wait to read it. Fantastic Four number 10, The War of the Realms. There's a tie-in with that. I, I don't, I'm not collecting the Wars of the Realms series. I heard it's pretty good so far. I just I stayed away from it this time around. There you go. Now, remember, um, I got Flash number 70, the original cover. It sold out the first time around. I ended up getting the, the variant when it first came out. I just want to show you to remind you. But look at the cover on this one, the original cover. I really like the cover. Bunch of sneakers here that he burnt out. He's learning. It's a year one storyline, like I said before. It's a good jumping point. It makes you want to like the Flash all over again. So I got this today. Thank you, Carl, for getting it for me. And also, I got issue 71. There you go. Uh, I read it. It was pretty good. Um, go to the store. Pick it up. You're not going to be disappointed with it. Uh, I read this whole thing. So it's... Uh, it's chapter two on issue 71, okay? I'm collecting two sets of those, one for my grandson, X, who I'm starting a little uh, collection for him. So, and he likes The Flash, that and Nova. Also, from DC Black Label, Snyder Capullo, The Last Night on Earth, Batman. This is a variant cover. I didn't know there was a variant. They sold out on the original one. Look at that. That's scary. Really creepy. But I can't wait to read it. Also, Detective Annual number two. Now, Detective Annual number one last year was a really good story, so I'm hoping that they continue with that. So, Heroes in Crisis number nine is a nine part series. This is the last of it. Uh, last episode, last month, they show you who was the murderer. Well, at least we think that person was the murderer. So, can't wait to see this whole thing resolved. There we go. All right, for my weekend pool, I got Legends 30th Anniversary Edition. There we go. See that? John Bernie art. Um, I got the original six-part story. But since I saw that story and it was wicked cheap, I ended up picking it up. And plus, the cover is so vibrant. Look at that. Also, a book I picked up was... Batman Arkham Knight Genesis. Look, that's a nice cover. Now, so far, the last three Arkham Knight series that I'm reading is uh, pretty good. It's a different take on Batman, different take on the Robins in here. So, um, this one I also picked up for cheap, one of my weekend haul. But look at that. I read it this weekend, and it was really good. One book that I'm enjoying immensely that I couldn't put down, but I had to put down because I want to talk to you. Um... Is the 12. This was first released. I don't have the year here. A few years back, a buddy of mine who passed away was collecting this, but then for, for one reason or another, it didn't come out on time on a monthly basis. So I never got to finish reading the end. So um, this is pretty good. I'm up to chapter five right now. And it's based on heroes that were uh, caught in a trap and they were reawakened. 60 years later and now they're dealing with the new world that they woke up to and how to deal with life some lost family members other found family members and they don't know how to deal with it so it's more like a psych thing an emotional roller coaster for these guys here so um but i'm enjoying the book immensely if you see this book pick it up if you didn't get the the original 12 you can't go wrong with this all right just uh it, it gave me that the Golden Age storyline that DC released years ago, uh, it gave me that kind of feel. So this is good. All right? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you have anything for me to read or check out, give me a holler. Let me know. So as always, from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nevisia.